Well, we got some ways to go here. Of course, we'll be checking in on True Boy and Jay's the best as we move along here through the northern side of the AFC. Yeah, and that Echo Fox sponsorship, I joke, I know we keep bringing it up, but it's just such a big deal to see these major esports organizations taking that next step and getting involved with these Madden players. You now got Joke sponsored by Echo Fox, Problem sponsored by Luminosity, and you got to think it's just going to only get bigger and bigger. You got the team versus out there, team needed. The list goes on and on. Yeah, I can't drop any names, but a lot of the, you know, because I've been involved in esports for 20 something years, they reach out and they say, what, what Madden guy should I be looking at? So the, the interest is definitely there from the, the upper echelon of the esports world. And can you imagine? I mean, it's very possible at some point, assuming Joe Candle's business problem does, you could get a problem joke match, which would be Echo Fox versus Luminosity right here in Madden. Second and six for Joe. Here on the opening drive, and here's Mariota. And Marvin Harrison will have a big catch down at the 44, right in front of Miles Jack. Yeah, and Joke, you're going to see him. Deliverance is going to need to bring his A game against Radel Brito, a.k.a. Joke. He is for sure one of the top five players we currently have on the circuit. Like you said, locked in for Ultimate League. And if you want to test yourself with your Deliverance, Now's the time to do it because you're going up against a world-class player, an Echo Fox joke. Second and one now at the 36. Joke representing West New York, New Jersey, 24 years old. Deliverance, Michael Pinter repping, repping Naples, Florida, 26 years old. That's right over there by Rico in Naples. Look at Rico over there getting all pumped up. He might have a horse in this race all of a sudden. Well, the interesting thing, you see the meta, and you talked about the EMB crew. Saw a lot of them yesterday. Mariota and Herschel Walker has been their go-to combo on offense. And there's Wallace. And he'll work his way into the red zone down at the 15. And for deliverance, he's playing with a lot of pressure because he truly wants to bring the glory to the Steelers. He feels he's the biggest fan of his team out of any of the representatives. He bleeds that black and gold, and he couldn't be more thrilled to be representing those Pittsburgh Steelers. He even had the custom-stitched Deliverance Steelers jersey that his girlfriend got him. It's a pretty cool gift. It's a keeper right there. Absolute keeper. And it lose a yard here, push him back to the 16, second 11. Bunch to the right, Wallace to the left, and as they say it, he flips it. Harrison will be solo now. Mariota in the flat, and Walker gets gobbled up, another loss. But you see Joe very much like Skimbo in his approach, where he's not going to force it downfield. He'll take what the defense gives him. Very surgical and methodical in his approach, in his approach to this game. A lot of speed at linebacker for deliverance. He's got Miles Jack, Deion Jones, Ryan Shazier, and Telvin Smith. That's some goons Or is right his there. four linebackers. That's a lot of speed. Half of the Saxonville linebacker core right there in Jack and Telvin. To the corner. There's Harrison. And we're going to have first and goal at the one. Joke. He's got some weapons on offense with the 93 overall Mike Wallace. He's got this Marvin Harrison right here making big plays. And then that running back, that Herschel Walker, like we talked about, Scott. Here's his formation. And Walker makes the first man miss, but can't get away. And here's second and goal. And you know what's ironic is Joke's rocking the Echo Fox hoodie, but it's the same color as the Browns colors. <laughs> it, I, it, just it just worked to, out. It just yeah, worked, worked out, out that way, so he's blending in, no big deal. Huge LeBron fan, as he stated. I've, se I've seen him uh, kick pe block people on Twitter and Facebook for uh, LeBron slander. And Walker trying to reach. Try to break the plane. He's going to be just short. Third and goal from the half-yard line. And play right here for Deliverance. Off tackle to the left. Flips it to the right. 
This off tackle off the strong close in this West Coast playbook, Scott. Very popular. And Herschel. Oh, is he fighting? Is he in? Won't not... make it. Oh, the fourth down. Decision time, Joe. Real quick, Scott, Joke is in the West Coast offensive playbook, very popular in this tournament, and the Kansas City defense, deliverance in the Houston offensive playbook with the New England Patriots defense. Back to walk on first Zane. down. He went for it, and he found pay dirt. Takes a sip of water, casual. Business as usual right there for Joke. Oh, he didn't kick it perfect. One thing he told me to keep an eye out in this tournament when I went out to eat with him the other day, he said, RG, watch when I kick the ball. It's going to be perfect almost every single time. Wasn't he's, true to his word right there, though. He lied to me. He's 0 for, yeah, 0 for 1. It's 0 for 1. 7 nothing. Deliverance is going to have the opportunity to answer the opening drive by joke. And some room to return, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. Let's go to the other side and get an update, guys. Thanks, guys. We got True representing the Bengals. JS the best representing the Ravens. JS the best had enough of this comeback stuff. I'm gonna get started early. Yes, he showed that he was he's not the only one that has a running game, True Boy. Now, Ravens are known for their defense. Bang! Hit stick right there, recovers the ball. Big defensive play, up 7 0, minute 43 left in the first. Back to you guys. Wow, he's starting to become sort of a giant killer. Say, Took down boy. Chaos and looking good. Oh. Here he gets True Boy. Over in our game, yeah. we got 7 0 deliverance on his opening drive after he gave up seven. And let me just say real quick that JS True Boy game could have easily made. The main stage. True oh, this boy, is a tough decision. A true yeah. boy is a guy that doesn't get as much credit as he feels he deserves, and I agree with him. He's tied with Michael Skimbo for the mo making the most EA majors at six. I mean, not making the Madden Challenge this year was the first major he missed in the last two years. So when you talk about consistency, you got to talk about True Boy and JS. That comeback he made against Chaos. I mean, I am an instant fan. You saw his pops Keon out here supporting him. I mean, it's a great game over there, but. Back to joke deliverance. This one ain't bad either. So third and one. We'll get updates from both sides. And maybe we'll throw in a little red zone as we move through this one, depending on how those games go. Third and one for deliverance. Got to go to the air. Good read. And there is Paul Richardson on the other side of the 50 at the 46. First down deliverance. It's always a nice play when you complete it, when you go for it on that third and one or the fourth and one, because the defense is just committed to that short stuff, and it really opens up stuff deeper down the field. And sometimes it's the best time to take a shot. Deliverance picks up a good chunk right there. So at the start of the second quarter, quick throw to the flats for McKinnon. He'll move it to the 42. That'll make it second and six. Back of the gun, trips to the right. Kennan on a little delay. Now at the 40-yard line, third and four. Deliverance, always look good. His online record, 110 of 61, only a 64% win percentage. I mean, he's played a lot better here in this tournament than that online record shows. We've seen players get hot and make a run. Throw that one to Winslow. Possession catch. Uh-oh. That's possession catch, man. That's not my fault. Oh, no. That, that was not the word. This isn't the attitude you want. Not on the main stage. Maybe when you're in your room behind closed <laughs> doors, it's all good. But you start tilting on the main stage, it's never a good thing. Get the poise right, Deliverance. 57-yarder from there for Dan Bailey. But he's going to go. Big play right here. You don't want to give Joke any kind of momentum to stop you on your first drive after he scored. Deliverance could step up in a big way here. Fourth and four. Looking. That's good defense. That's good defense. It throws that one into coverage. And we're going to have a turnover on downs. Let's take a look at the other game. Guys, what's going on? 
Well, True Boy is just doing what he's known for over here, Rico, pounding the rock. Absolutely, showing off that stick work. He didn't want to be outdone by JS. That's right. I love that sideline view, a big run up the right side, down into JS's territory. And if it worked twice, why not go ahead and go back to it, bowling over people inside the 10? Oh, yes. He doesn't have to be pretty, but he gets it done to tie that game up 7-7. Nice drive. We got four minutes and 50 seconds. Back to you. All right, good one over there, and we got a 7-0 game here on this side. We're in the AFC North. Little Browns and Steelers and Bengals taking on the Rams. Excuse me, the Ravens. We've caught a lot of games this week. Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a grind. It's a marathon. Ball at the 27. Stretching it out is Herschel Walker. Walker to the 23. Take a look at this long pass that we missed while we were checking on the updates. Good find there by Joke. And I like that Joke's in this ace formation. Unlike Skimble where he just stays in the bunch and continues to slang the rock. Now that Joke's in field goal range, he was able to run the ball a little bit, go to a balanced for formation, and just kill clock and, you know, settle for three if he wants to. I like that he has that versatility in his game plan. Second and six now, Mariota. I'm an 11 and 12 personnel guy myself. And Harrison to the five. You, so key because you really, there's so many formations at work. You got the right personnel. You can really do some damage with a symmetrical formation. Yeah, it's so hard to prepare for with it being balanced like that. You don't know if it's going left, you don't know if it's going right, and better yet, when he flips the play, there's no tell to let you know he flipped the play because nobody moves. So first and goal now from the five, trying to make it a two-possession game. Back to Herschel Walker. Can't break a tackle this time. It looked like Miles Jack came up and made the hit. Joe running the ball, staying in this ace. Gonna let the clock run. Not force anything. This is why Echo Fox pays him the big bucks. Of course, Rick Fox, his whole group, hung out with a lot of Echo Fox guys in my days. Hey, that's right, Rick Fox. Shout out to him. Hopefully, Joe gets the plug for some Lakers tickets next time we're in LA. See some Lonzo? Yeah, we'll be out there maybe during the uh, All-Star game. You a Lonzo fan? Big baller brand? Oh, no. That's a hard pass for me. Hard pass for you? No. Not having it. <laughs> Third and goal from the three. Here at the two-minute warning. Up 7-0, trying to make it 14. Trying to cut it back, wasn't there. All right, let, let's see if Joe kicks this one perfect, man. He, he usually doesn't <laughs> lie to me. Look at it again. Great defense down here in the red zone by Deliverance. Yeah, all right, let's see what he's got here. He's got to get that white bar up at the top of the meter. He's got to hit it there. And you got to get the kick meter in that accuracy window as well. No, nah, he's just going early. He didn't even go for it right here because Deliverance isn't in field goal block. So there's no need to kick perfect. No need to take the risk of that kick meter coming down really quick. And I don't understand why players don't do that. So especially like it's the punt at the end of the game. You're in a desperate situation. People will often not even try to block the punt. They'll just come out in a regular defense and hate to see that. Well, hate that makes the lead now 10 for Joke. And deliverance with 127. Left of the half with two timeouts is going to need to answer. Let's go ahead and float over to the other side of the division here. Bengals and Ravens with True Boy with the rock. Big fourth and 15. Oh, two. this is a big play. Two tight ends. Garoppolo. Has time. It gets hit, and JS is going to take over at the 36 with 2.09 to go. Uh, where's Papa JS in the crowd? He's got to be feeling it right now. The youngin going up against True Boy 
who date him back to before the Madden Challenge. He made five consecutive EA Major Live events. One of the best run games there is in the country. But JS is here, and he's been making a name for himself. And I love the story from his dad about how JS was younger and, you know, his dad used to throw tournaments and he couldn't play. And that's why esports is exploding. We're now in a point where this younger generation has parents who grew up playing video games. You know, when I was growing up, my dad didn't play any <laughs> video games, so he would look down on it. But in this new generation, they, they don't do that. The parents have played, they've experienced it, they know what it's about. And I believe that's a big contributor to the whole esports thing. Had a catch for a moment off the deflection, but couldn't hang on. Third and 10. JS's kicker is also Dan Bailey. He seems to be the meta here in salary cap mode. Hands it off to Herschel and Walker. Makes it a bit more manageable. He'll be a 48-yarder from there. Got to run this clock here, RG, right? Maybe he's going to hold the A button. There he goes. He's just going to hold it. Oh, no. Let's it go. Of course, he's got three timeouts as well. He's maybe yeah. thinking a little more. You figure, you figure there's plenty of time. Drew had the three timeouts. He's going to have enough time to put a full possession together anyway. That's 17 seconds over here between the Browns and the Steelers. It's fourth down. Deliverance with the ball on fourth and six. Oh, big play right here for Deliv. Scream. And throws it into coverage. And Joke will take over. And this EMP crew, Scott, they're not messing around. Talk about iron sharpens iron. They already got three guys going to Minnesota. They had seven total out of the 32 teams. Seven of them represented by EMB. Ten to nothing. Well, excuse me, not, rep not all seven members, but they were in at least the final four. And Wallace, spin move. Past the 50, out of bounds at the 48. And so with a 10-point lead, he's got a timeout. Needs about 13 yards. Because surprise, surprise, he's got Dan Bailey. Hands it off to Walker. See if he uses a timeout, and he will. Two seconds to go before the half. Just going to have to try to sling one toward the end zone or try to break a long run. Yeah, he might just run it here. Stretch left, toss left. So here at the half, the revenge game for Joe continues. You talked about it off the, the start, RG, of how Deliverance beat Tony. And you don't mess with the crew. Don't mess with the crew. And I, that's how it was back in the day. I remember I went to a tournament. Brusky knocked off my friends Laugh and Corey. And then when I had to play them the next day <laughs> in the challenge, it, it, it's a, a must-win situation. You can't mess around like that. You can't let them sweep the crew. Remember, fortunately, I was able to take care of business that game because if I didn't, I wouldn't have heard the end of it. So here to start the second half, Deliverance has the ball first. And you hate to say a must-score situation, but you got to, at this point, get something going, some sort of momentum at least. Yeah, especially against a player like Joke. He's going to make almost no mistakes. He's not going to give you much at all. He's too experienced. He's too good. He's too much of a veteran. So maybe against lesser competition, you can get it going later on. But oh my God, it's right there. That's six points. Come on, man. That's six points. Got to hit the hole. Got to hit the hole, man. I'm not going to disagree. Second and six. Ball at the 40. You know, when you're playing a good player, it's just things happen just a little bit quicker. The click-ons are a little smoother. Oh, yeah. Third and three at the 44. Ten-point game here at the start of the second half. Sky Cole and RG with you here 
from Orlando, Florida. The wild word of sports. We'll be on ESPN tonight, 10 p.m. ESPN News. That's going to be a good game no matter who's there. So what he's saying, what he's saying is possession catch. But what happens right there is it says didn't register the A button. On those traffic. short throws, yeah. well, on those There's short throws, time. you're throwing it so quick, the catch animation is matching before you could register. And that's going to happen sometimes on those quick plays, unless you got, you know, the super thumbs. <laughs> I deserve that, man. I deserve that. Oh, no, the chaos line. The there, man. It's good defense, but the read's there, Joe. So after the jump, we're going to have a first and 10 at the 49. And the read was, it was, he got his hands on it, but it's still in traffic. And you know when you're in traffic, you can drop the ball. I, I feel like Deliverance is just tilting a, a little too much right now. Trips to the left. He'll run it again, and they'll have a committee meeting on Jared Kinnam. Reason this, the, the Madden community sometimes develops this uh, I'm owed or I deserve that <laughs> mentality, and not just in Madden, in life, an attitude's not going to get you too far. McKinnon will oh. finally some room. There it is. They block the way they're supposed to. You're not going to stop it. Block the way you're supposed to. Do your job. Got a big block on the middle linebacker that sprung him to the 32. Really the biggest play of the day so far for Deliverance. It's opening up a little bit. I mean. You got to keep yourself in field goal range here. You got to make it a one possession game by the end of this drive. Yeah, that's a really good point, Scott. Sack would be tragic for him. It looks like he's getting ready to air it out. Those are all deep routes. There's the drag. Second and 11. That drag was user, and he threw it into coverage. Let's go. And it's oh, picked tip off. Drill. Tip drill. Tip drill. Yeah, that's a crazy pick, man. I can't about that. And they're going to mark him down at the one-yard line. And that's a player with the tip drill ability, Scott. What that means is if they can get their hands on it and match wow. a catch animation off the tip. You saw that T go up under there and that's why you want those players they cost you extra cap it might not come into play but when it does it's huge and deliverance goes from able to make it a one possession game to now back all the way up against the wall needs to do something here with joke backed up on his own one stretch it out Careful. able to get himself some breathing room out to the four yard line hasn't been a strong running day for joke 14 carries for 23 yards. The legend Richard Dent on the stop. Third and seven now. You cannot take a sack here. Quick throw. Wallace, first down and more. Out to the 13. 10 for 10 is Mariota now. 10-0 here. Let's check in on the other side with Dave and Rico. What's going on? Thanks, guys. We've got 10-7, JS the best, in the lead right now. True Boy just went for it on 4th and 21 from his own 12-yard line. Did not convert just out of bounds. Rico, that's a this competitive matter, but even that is a bold decision right Yeah, there. the only thing you have to hope that he was thinking is, okay, I'm going to turn it over. It's going to be a short field. If I can hold him to three, it's still a one-position game. Well, it is now going to be pressure on. Time to see if you got that then don't break defense inside the 10-yard line. Second and five for J.S. the best. J.S. the best has been making sure that he's been made the smart play on both sides of the ball. He's been that bend to break, and when he gets those hit sticks, he's taking his shots, and he's kept the ball on the ground. Hands it off left to Herschel Walker. He is all the way in to the end zone. He must be listening to you, Rico. <laughs> coach him up, coach him up. Very nicely done, pending this extra point. He will be up 17-7. For a guy like True Boy, this is his sixth major event, live event. JS, his first one, even though we heard from his father, he's been playing a long time. Is that an advantage? Is he coming in, kind of playing guns blazing? He doesn't have to be worried about what his legacy is quite yet? As RG says, he's playing with house money. Nobody expected him to get this far, but he's making believers out of everybody. True Boy, because of his style of play, being down 10 in the second half, it's going to be a little tough. 
Let's take another look at that turnover on downs that set up that JS touchdown right there. We see it just missing out to the left sideline, and then JS doing what he's been doing all game, sticking to the ground game with Herschel Walker all the way into the end zone. Now, time for Truewood to pick things up here a little bit. He is also one of the best runners in all of Madden, some of the best stick work in all of Madden. It looks like there's not a lot of time left in this game. Three minutes left in the third quarter. In competitive Madden, Rico, this can be an eternity. Oh, it, it can be, on. but he's going to need to break Where's off a mine? big run. Mine, man? Going from the shotgun, he hands off left. Hunter Fournette driving his way up close to the first down. Looks like he did get that first down, first and ten. Looking to establish a little bit of a rhythm here. He's been kind of in the box so far in this game. Kind of in the box. He's definitely been in the box. <laughs> <laughs> JS has those Ravens look like they're in Super Bowl form. But that bend don't break again. He's allowing him to eat up the clock and to, he's moving the sticks. But time is his enemy right now. That's right. You see 138 rushing yards for Leonard Fournette on the Bengals here for True Boy. Last year's Jaguars club champion switched it up, went to his favorite NFL franchise, the Cincinnati Bengals. I know he's super proud to be representing them here. I had a chance here. to see True Boy last year in Jacksonville. I commentated that one in. He put on a run clinic. Yeah. There was nothing anybody could do. There were some big names out there. Stevie J was out there. Master Gamer was out there. Cam, and we talked about that big run. He needed one to get back in that game. And just like that, he got it. Just keep talking about runs, Rico. You talk about them, they get in the end zone. Big break for True right there. Pending this extra point, he will make this a three-point ball game for two run specialists. We've seen a lot of running the ball in this one so far. Yes, we have. Now, JS, he looks like he's a little bit frustrated on that play, but he needs to put that behind him. That's where you're going to see this being his first event. Is he going to be able to compartmentalize and say, okay, I gave up that touchdown, but now let me go right back and get another one and go back up two scores. We will keep you guys posted on this one. 17-14, two minutes left in the third quarter. Scott, RG, let's get back to this joke and deliverance game. Yeah, gentlemen, it just got a little interesting over here. Deliverance with a touchdown late in the third. This is how it happened, RG. Momentum's building. Oh, you hear deliverance, momentum's building. We can hear them yelling about something, and this is what it was. Looks like Woo. Miles Jack and Swervy getting icky. And deliverance, deliverance, joke straight into a hell game. Joke's got to respond on this offensive drive. This would be a oh, huge a upset. And now. This pressure, Joke. Come on. Oh, man, deliverance leaving it all out there now. He's got some momentum. And that's that jersey we were talking about, Scott. A number nine custom Steelers. Uh oh. Mariota got to throw it deep. And that was more oh. just trying to throw it away as he was. Almost going to take a safety there. Oh, what a defensive standby deliverance here, Coltrane. Joke's going to have to punt the ball. There's that jersey. That's he's nice. Gonna, <laughs> nice. Look at that stitch, Nike. He's going to have to punt the rock, and he's so backed up. Deliverance is going to have fantastic field position. Going to be in a good spot to at least tie the game. He's not in punt return, though. Yeah, three-man deep. Does he know something that I don't? See how this works out. We'll punt it away. And he'll fair catch it. And only trailing by three, he'll have it at the 48-yard line. So that's what's going on here. What's going on with True Boy and JS? Well, we send it back to you guys. Just in time for a touchdown over here. JS, a deep bomb connecting for a huge score to go up 2014. And Rico, number one fan, pretty fired up about it. Oh, yeah, look at that right there. That's He's the best. <laughs> that is the best. Back to you guys, 24-14. Nothing like a proud papa. And that's how it started yesterday, RG. We started getting some close games and started ping-ponging. And it was a lot of fun. Second and nine. Love seeing the new names really build their brand. JS, it looked gloomy for him against Chaos, the comeback of the year. Over there against one of the best players on the circuit, True Boy handling business in front of his pops. And then Deliverance, on the other hand, making a name for himself going up against one of the best in joke. The underdogs are fighting, Scott. Third and five. Throws it, and it should have been picked off. You saw the, the banner at the top. It was a bad timing pick. I don't know what to tell you. You should have had it. You should have had it. Bad timing pick. Look at it again. I don't know how to tell you, man. 
Jake saying, Joke saying that he didn't hold wide. The only thing that I could think of is this sometimes where you press wide one time early, Scott, because if you hold wide too long, you get the bad time. The penalty, yeah. You get the penalty in the drop pick. There's few instances where you'll accidentally press wide too early. The controller won't rumble, but the next time you press wide, you get the penalty. I press another possession catch, and I'm not getting it. Both of them are tilted. Yeah, both these guys are deep in their fields. <laughs> First and ten, another run. And now he's in field goal range. 50-yarder would tie it. Here on second and seven. Can't take a sack. This defense by Joe. Saw that play art. Sending everyone. McKinnon now 14 carries for 46 yards. Fourth quarter, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. 328 left. Third and five. Thin field goal range. Three point ball game. Deliverance. Big play for him. He'll run it again this time. Joke shoots the gap. And it'll be a 49 yard field goal to tie it up. And if you're Deliverance, I don't mind you being conservative right there and making sure that you keep yourself in field goal range because your defense has been playing lights out on the last two possessions. So tie the ball game, get the defense back out on the field, put the pressure on Joke. 10-10 to 10 now, a 3.03 to go in the game. Deliverance has a top five player on the ropes. Here's us on the other side, True Boy. And JS is backed all the way back on his one yard line. He's up two scores already. Up 10. 4.22 to go. But he's in a tender space. And works his way out to the eight-yard line. 15 carries for 120 yards for Herschel. And J.S. the best. Jelani Shelton. Dad's this, locked in. There's his pops key on Shelton from San Diego, California. Young Jelani, only 19 years old, representing his Ravens. And Herschel, mm, so close. Going to depend on the spot. And they're going to make it third and one. And J.S. the best. He's running that Miami offensive playbook with the Oakland defense. True boy, running that Arizona offensive playbook and the New England Patriots defense. You know, we got a lot of guys that always want to scout the playbooks. Yeah, we do. So you got to oh, make yeah. sure you give them that information. That's one of the first questions they ask. What, what, what playbook is this guy running? And I don't blame him. You got to pay attention to what you see on the broadcast. You see something you like, you got to go practice Off his it. back foot, and it's knocked down by True. And fourth and one, what do you do here, RG? You're on your own 10. It's a tough one. And a lot of guys say, hey, I'll go for it here because that's a tough 10 yards even if I turn it over. And, and I'll get the ball back quickly. You're right. The problem is here for us to judge it. It's tough because we haven't seen the whole game. Sometimes right. the it's, flow. Just, it's, it's dependent on how things are going. Well, True Boy oh! with a big oh! stop. And he's going to have it on the eight. And that's huge because he, he, he's only down 10, so what? he's at least in field goal range. Papa, J.S., he not he, happy about it. His dad said, you got to oh, punt it. Oh, what are you doing? And that's what an old school guy would say. You got to punt it. Oh, play some old man ball. Second and goal now after the loss by Fournette. 3 10 to go. And it's getting wild in here. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have an, an update in the other game because it's – it's getting wild over there between Joke and Deliverance as well. Second and goal. Had X but decided to tuck it. It would have been a tough throw. But Garoppolo gains four. That makes it third and goal from the seven. And the bell is starting to toll. Big one for True Boy here. If you're already down here on his seven-yard line, you really want to get the touchdown. You really, really want to score this touch. You'll take the three if you need to, Scott. But with how little time's left, the touchdown is so much more ideal right here. MC out the backfield. You got to watch for the quarterback to take off. The route combination. Nothing there. And throws it away. And he'll have to kick the field goal to make it 
a seven-point game. Did you see Garop those numbers? Say True Boy was one for seven past. The, that could have been. Jay has. <laughs> has him locked up in the passing game. It's now a touchdown. Difference between True and JS. 2.44 to go. Both guys with three timeouts. And Bo Jackson will take it at the four. Has oh. some space. And pushes his way to the 31. And we got an update in this other game, guys. It's getting wild. Guys, upset City brewing over here. A huge pick six. Deliverance taking it all the way back with his favorite player, Shea Leave. He's screaming to the crowd. 17-10, under two minutes. Back to you. Wow, Shea's here coming up big. And Bo Jackson on this side. Even a field goal here. He's already out to the 50. The field goal is absolutely huge. Yeah, two possessions is where you want to be if you're JS. You don't want to deal with True Boy on the guap drive. You got to pay some homage in that other game to wow. Deliverance. Wow. I was giving him. He was down and out. I it was, was giving him a nothing. hard time for Woo. tilting, but man, did he tilt his defense in the right direction. So they are playing lights out against, like you said, a top five player in joke. Spot it dead at the 50. Oh. Stumbled for a moment, but then got to the 43. This is going to be big, like you said, Coltrane sniffing field goal range. Look at the father-son shot right there. They break the huddle with under two minutes to go. Second and three. And he hands it off to Herschel. He forces his way to the 42, and now it's a third and two. This is two down territory for him too, Coltrane, so can expect the run here as well. Last time True Boy shot the gap. Yeah, that's a good point though. I gotta try, you gotta show me again. All right, let's see. Set up for the drags. Audibles two again. Two down territory, I'm running this rock. He'll go to the air. Oh, he's open. Oh, oh wow, he no got one. away with one. B Whoa. was the read. He had B on the drag. That's what I was looking at. And threw it to the flats, and that was, that could have been a tie game. Oh, True almost yicked it, and True's known for having some of the best stick work on the circuit. JS, very fortunate right there, but I'll tell you what. Him and Papa JS, they'll take it. 65 seconds left in this one. Still really not in comfortable field goal range, but he's got a fresh set of downs. True Boy hasn't used the timeout yet. Still has all three. Run commit. And here will come the first timeout from True Boy. 49 ticks. Can JS keep this Cinderella, uh, Cinderella run going? He's looking good right now. It's going to come down to True, True Boy having to hold him from getting this three right here. He's run commit and he backs him up. A loss. Wow. Let's get an update on the other side between the Browns and the Steelers. Guys, high drama over here. Joke has come back to tie this thing up on a crossing pattern, Rico. Huge play. Joke not to be outdone. Ties this game 17-7. 17-17. It's tight over here. Back to you. All right. Only 30 seconds left in this one. On that side, we got 42 on this side. There's just so much going on right now, Coltrane. We got good game and good game on each one of the screens. When the level of competition is this stiff, that's what's going to happen. It's what the club series is all about. Dan Bailey is his kicker. He's going to go for it. This is fourth in the game right here. Oh, big You get a first right down now. and it's over. Here it is. True boy needs to stop to stay alive. True can't let him roll out to the right right here and let those, those deep crosses develop. Still has time. Might look the playmaker that drag as well from the B receiver. Andrew Luck. Pressure comes in. Throws it. Oh. 
And now True Boy will have it with 35 seconds, no timeouts. He's going to go he's go the entire way, 63 yards between him and tying the game. And this is where it's rough for True Boy, though, because he's known as a run-first type player. All right, we're going to go double box. It's going to be tough for True Boy, Coltrane. Got two games going I on like at this. once. I like this. This is wild. This is action. Seven seconds in this other game. And we got a little movement over here on the left side between the Browns and the Steelers. And True's got 29 seconds on the right side. Yeah, I'm looking True at... True and JS over here on the right. Tie game over on the left. I'm telling you, Scott, True over there on the right. He, I don't... Just don't think this is his cup of tea. He's not a pass-heavy player. It's going to be hard for him to get down and get six. And Deliverance can't hang on on the left side. And so it'll be the final play of regulation between Joke and Deliverance. The cl clock's ticking over there in the true game as well. He's running out of time. True boy. Oh, he gets screamed at, and that'll be the game. And so we're going to go to overtime between Joke and Deliverance. And with JS, wow. he will get the win 24 to 17 over True Boy. And look at JS getting some support from the crowd. Papa JS, they're feeling it. So J.S. will move on, representing the Ravens. And so let's jump right back into overtime. 17-17. Joke was up 10 to nothing, and Deliverance came roaring back. Ball at the 30. Joke will get it first. Overtime rules. He scores a touchdown on this drive, and it's over. He kicks a field goal, and Deliverance will have a shot. Spins to the 37. That's going to make it second and two. Here, Deliverance. you got to step up here. Defense has been playing lights out since the second half of this game. So it's the time to make a play. A little drag route, tries to get oh. away from Hayward. It's going to depend on the spot. He sort of dipped back, and yeah, it's going to be third and short. What a nice tackle by Deliverance. Clicked on, drove him downfield, dove, put his life on the line. It's Casey Hayward from the Chargers. Powered up tier four with a big-time stop. That's the fullback dive right there from this near. Oh, to the strong close, he's going to go off tackle. Off tackle to the right. You called it. He's on him. He's on him. Scott. Didn't get there. Fourth and one, and oh, Joke's going. In his own territory. This could be the game. Oh, can we have two upsets in one round? Deliverance. And he gets the oh. first down. You see him go to that different camera angle to get wider and a little bit higher and picks up the first down. How clutch was that? Yeah, I was about to say, Joke with ice in his veins in his own territory, overtime, fourth down. Hurries up. Gets the first. Browns and Steelers. Who's going to face JS and the Ravens? JS, man, I, he's got a fan in me. I've been watching since that comeback against Chaos. I had a special feeling about that young man, and boy, did he make a name for himself here at the tournament. I think Papa JS made a name for himself as well. Second and 13. We're in overtime. Mariota oh! finds Wallace. Now at the 35 on the edge of field goal range. Yeah, but the field Touchdown goal, will win it. Yep, regular overtime rules. Exactly, Scott. Touchdown wins it, though. Field goal. Deliverance will get a chance to have a possession of his own. So, Joke, definitely not completely comfortable here. Still wants to go and get six and just end this game. Bunch to the right. Herschel Walker's back there in the gun. Mariota. Mm. 
And that's that same type of drop, the possession catch and traffic, and they could drop it. Same one Deliverance was complaining about earlier. Anytime you throw it and the defender gets hands on you, Especially with some of these lower tier guys. Like yeah, exactly. Some of these lower tier guys don't have that, you got a that of catch and traffic exactly. rating you need. That's a good point, Scott. Second and 10 at the 35. Audibles for days. Mariota. Defense. And Marvin Harrison just couldn't turn the corner. So now third and three at the 29 is Deliverance is paying some homage with that last throw. Rico on the edge of his seat over there. His boy from Naples got himself in a situation here in overtime. And Ty picks up the first down for Joke. Michael Pinta, you got to step up right now. Joke's moving the ball against you. Joke, 24 years old. Deliverance, 26 years old. It's about a middle-aged Madden player age right there, huh? Not old, you're not young. Somewhere in the middle. First and 10, oh, Walker. That is not the animation you want to see, but holds on to it at the 13. It's going to be second and inches. Touchdown will win it. Choke really just, I like how he mixes up his formations. Goes to the run. In this West Coast playbook. And he will pick up the first down, just barely. He goes from 11 personnel in bunch to single back ace to an eye form type look to a strong close type look. Far near, utilizing the entire playbook. Three, three, three. Don't even worry work. about the clock, it doesn't matter. It's all about the points. And on first down, goes nowhere. Second and ten. Gets real stingy down here. Yeah. Definitely stingy mode down here, Scott. Deliverance needs to step up in a big way here. And still pick up a first down. Oh, he throws this throw. into coverage. Throw. And it's picked Bad. off. Oh, no. And they're going to mark that at the one-yard line. Oh, I've never seen Joke have a brain fart like that. He just lobbed it right up in the double coverage. What happened? A safety will end the game. Oh, wow. I said it's Dee needed to step up in a big way here, Coltrane. How about an interception? Ball at the half-yard line. First and ten. Joke screaming. Throws it away. Oh, you got to thank goodness that there was a player there. Do not. That's a safety. Intentional <laughs> grounding right there. Safety game over. But he was trying to throw that over there into the flats. Joke's going to be screaming. That corner's coming off the left edge. The goons on that three-man rush might blitz a linebacker. Expect the four to five-man rush. To the here. air again. Throws it quickly to Randy Moss. First down and more. And for a moment, gets some breathing room. A field goal will win it. Oh, my goodness, are you not entertained, Coltrane? Club Series championship action in overtime. And as I said, don't even worry about the clock. It's not a factor. One underdog's already taking care of business. We have another one in control of this game, looking like he could run away with it. Now Joke's defense needs to step up. And you come in here, you're thinking, well, Joke and True Boy, that'll be a nice matchup. Uh-uh. Forget about it. Forget it. Forget about it. Second and six. Hands it off. And a nice stop, but McKinnon fighting for every yard makes it third and five. Deliverance rocking that team of the week, Russell Wilson. And then haven't seen many people use that item at quarterback. Russell Wilson, he had the biggest crowd around him at that pro ball practice. First down. Tons Big hit by Night Train Lane, but a new set of downs. Well, Russell Wilson is one of the nicest guys in the league. I'm telling you, you should have seen the crowd around him down there at that Pro Bowl practice, Scott. But look at that, man. Had an opportunity to go out to dinner with him and Doug Baldwin. Yeah, absolutely. And that was a great night. You did that event, two, yeah. two, two great guys. Yeah. Craig Olson, another one of our yeah, favorites. Yeah, sure. 
couple Walter Payton Man of the Year nominees. Keenan Allen, a big Madden fan. Sure. AJ Bouye. What's fun? We've had a lot of fun down here in Orlando. Can't forget about Derek Carr. It's a big Madden guy. Second and five at the 39. There you go, Deliverance. This is how you really make a name for yourself and elevate your game to that next level. We're in sudden oh, death rules now. And Kellen Winslow! He's in field goal range! Yeah, Jinx, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, my goodness. His kicker is Dan Bailey. And look at that, representing the black and gold Pittsburgh Steelers. He's going for the field goal off rip. This is it. Can he pull off the upset? It's it is good. up and it is good. And Deliverance is moving on. And Joke is going home. Show of respect there from Joke. And look at Deliverance goes to the Come crowd, on, representing his Pittsburgh Steelers, swagging in the custom jersey. And he pulled out the steel curtain in that second half. Some big time stops, big time turnovers, and he can't believe it. Oh, that was awesome. Way to regain your poise. It was looking gloomy for that young man earlier in the game. He kept his cool, played solid defense and pulls off the upset in this tournament. He's got to sit down. He's got to sit down. I, He's got the shakes. I don't blame him. It's bananas. Wow, big time upset. We, well, let's be honest. Two upsets here in the AFC North. True Boy and Joke, not only big favorites in this, you know, these games, big favorites in the entire tournament. Yes. Both guys, too, just locked in for Ultimate League already. So you take Deliverance and JS the best. Their backs are against the wall. Their Madden season's lives are just all up on the line. And they come up clutch, Coltrane. Wow, so 20 to 17, Deliverance with the win. JS the best, 24 to 17. He and the fam are standing by with Adrian Lawrence. Yes, I'm here with JS the best, who upset True Boy, who had five live majors under his belt. And I know your dad, Keon's very proud. How would you rate your performance? Um, I feel like I played really well. Um, at the beginning, I didn't stop the run as well, but I knew I had to get out early to um, so, because I knew if he like got ahead, he was going to chew the clock the rest of the game. So it was important to get that lead, and then from there I just cruised. And it was an incredible performance, your first live major. And I got to ask your dad. We saw you in the stands, and you just seemed so. Please, just tell us what were you feeling? I mean, I was just really proud that he played so well. He did exactly what he said he would do, which was get out of the head and play his game, no turnovers, you know, just run the ball when he can. And it was just a proud moment to watch him out there win the game. It's great. And I see you have your Eagles. <laughs> you have your Eagles gear on and you have your Ravens gear. So how, how did this disconnect happen? Oh, uh, man, I actually liked the Eagles for a couple of years when I was younger, but then I started watching Ray Lewis and Ed Reed, and then I kind of fell in love with them, and I've been a Raven fan ever since. All right, and you? Always Eagles. I started with Randall Cunningham back in the day. He was my idol growing up because I played football, too, and um, been an Eagles fan since then. And I know if your son goes all the way to at least the top two, <laughs> there's a possibility he could be I going know. to the Super Bowl. Yeah. I'm guessing, would you be his guest? I, I would hope so. I mean, <laughs> you never know. He might uh, decide to bring his mother instead. Who knows? <laughs> and I know you're receiving a lot of text messages. I've heard your phone buzz. What are they saying? Well, they're calling me uh, Papa JS because of the announcers kept calling me that and just saying, good job, you know, Jelani, and hope he keeps going. So it's great. Well, we echo that same sentiment. Congratulations Thank again, you. JS. Thank you. Back to you, Rico and Dave. Thank you, Adrian. JS, my dad is an Eagles fan, too. I know that can be tough. This is a good way.